Mmm. Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. If you didn't know, this of course is my second channel. This is not my main channel. If you thought it was, you are sorely mistaken. This is my second channel where I like to get a little bit goofier, a little bit wackier, give you more of a behind the scenes look, get a little bit unscripted, and drink LaCroix. Today I've got a nice Limoncello LaCroix, my favorite flavor. So about a week ago, I released my video. I made a viral TikTok song. The response has been great, first of all. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the video. It seems like all the feedback on it has been really positive. But since this is like one of the only times I've ever made a video that is like this expansive and has like a narrative to it almost, I do feel like there were some parts where I didn't explain as much as I could have, or maybe I cut some explanation out for the sake of the story and making the video more entertaining and not having it like drag on for too long and also I thought it would just be kind of fun to show some like behind the scenes stuff and give you guys like an insight of what it was like to make this video so I wanted to make this sort of behind the scenes slash Q&A slash deleted scenes video so that's what this is it's gonna be all about the TikTok video I asked you guys on Twitter if you had any questions I'm gonna be showing some deleted scenes all that jazz I know that there's a lot of questions that people have tweeted me but first maybe let's take a look at some of the deleted scenes from this video one last thing that I did that I, I feel like is really the cherry on top that's really gonna help people know that they're supposed to dance to this song is I added in sound effects for the dance portion. Let me know if you can hear them in the track. So these are some cues that will hopefully tell people when and what to dance. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's favorite dance. It's the sound effects dance. So I do have a dance in mind and I hope it works. I'm gonna do it now just to see if it's, just to see if it all works out. Clap and slide. I see TikTokers do this kind of slide and then elbow shake. That's meant to be this. I hope people will get that that's meant to be this. And then it's like, she don't want to throw hands. So something like, ba ba ba. She don't want to throw hands. She just wanna throw cake. I see people do like this, where they kinda shake their butt and, and twist out their legs, so there's like two boing boing. <laughs> Is that a good dance? Do you think that the do you think the TikTokers are gonna like it? Is the boing boing sound too goofy for shaking your butt? I couldn't think of any other sound to put in there. Yeah, girl, let me see that ass go boing boing. All right, let's check out some of these questions. Okay, I got a few comments about this. How did you end up getting the baby in the tree? And two, how did you get the baby to fall out of the tree at the right moment? The shot's actually two separate shots combined, one of me dancing and one of me throwing the baby up into the tree, the baby falling down and hitting the ground. I just cut that video so it's just the baby falling out of the tree, combined it with the video of me dancing, and then I could retime it to be timed perfectly, and that's how I did it. Nothing too crazy. I didn't have to climb up into the tree or anything. Actually, I think I have some clips of that, so let's show that. Here's me talking about that. Come to Papa. Going to shoot a video with my baby. All right, we have to figure out how we can get a shot where I'm lip syncing in the foreground and there's a baby falling from a tree in the background. So what I'm thinking is we can just do two different shots. And so if the camera's here, I'll be like right here, lip syncing or whatever. And then we edit in a shot of the baby falling from the tree. And I think to do that, we can just throw the baby up into the tree and have it naturally fall down. So let's see how that looks. Why make yourself look like a dad who dips at his son's Little League game rather than someone who could look like a prospective pop star? How did you decide to wear that? And I like how that is in all caps as if that is like the most offensive thing I could have possibly chosen to wear. I decided on like the goatee and the mustache because I've never had facial hair. I can't even grow that thick of facial hair even if I wanted to just because of my genetics. So I knew that facial hair would be a semi good disguise because like I, no one's ever seen me with facial hair so you wouldn't expect me to have facial hair. I also thought the sunglasses would be good because one thing that I learned from the Zayden video is like your eyes and your eyebrows are super recognizable. That was one of the things that I had the most trouble with with Zayden was like I couldn't get my eyebrows to look different and I could still tell it was me. So I brought like pretty big sunglasses to cover up my eyes and my eyebrows and once I had the goatee and those sunglasses I was like like, okay, so it's pretty clear I'm dressing like a 40 year old man because that's the only person that would have the goatee and the sunglasses. And then the clothes pretty much just followed suit. I just went to Goodwill and picked out stuff that I thought that guy would wear, the guy with the goatee and the sunglasses. <laughs> Do I look like a different person? A little bit. <laughs> I feel like this just looks like I have cotton balls in my mouth. <laughs> Do you think I can lip sync with this and it'll look like yeah, normal? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay, yeah, I feel like it actually does help. I feel like it's making my voice deeper or something, too. <laughs> just drop like three octaves. Howdy, y'all. I'm about to premiere my new song. 
this is kind of freaking me out. I feel like I really do look like a different person. I do feel like my mustache is a little crooked, but you know what? Maybe my face is just crooked and that's the problem. Okay, so lots of questions about the disguise. Why didn't you slightly change your voice so it wouldn't be too obvious? Why the hell didn't you use a voice changer? Why didn't you think to change your voice? Did you really not think we would recognize your voice? Why didn't you change it? Why didn't you change the pitch or tone of your voice in the song? Huge giveaway, my dude. I guess that was sort of an oversight. I remember thinking at the beginning, maybe I could just record the whole song with my voice and then pitch it down one half step on the computer and then it would sound like my voice, but just a little bit deeper. So maybe it wouldn't be so recognizable or maybe pitch it up a half step depending on which sounded better. And it turns out neither of them did. They both sounded like I recorded somebody and then pitched their voice up or down. I'm a fucking clown. Maybe that would make it sound less like me, but it would have made the song sound bad and not like a real person. And I wanted to prioritize making a song that people would actually want to use as opposed to having the perfect disguise. Also, I sort of said this in the video, but like I really did not expect that many people who knew who I was to see these TikToks. I think I said something like 800 million people use TikTok. I only have 4 million subscribers. So even if a bunch of my subscribers see my videos, it's gonna be pretty small percentage wise because there's so many more people that use TikTok. So I guess I really underestimated how many of my followers would actually see the video in the first place because of TikTok's algorithm. So that's another reason I thought I was safe. It's not that like I really thought that this disguise would fool all of my followers. I just wanted to look like someone else because like in my head, my my followers wouldn't really even be seeing these TikToks, just random people would. So it was more just like covering up my face so I'm not like immediately recognizable as me. This person said, how come you didn't hire someone else to sing the song for you? I think it would have worked if it was sang by a different voice. I half agree with that. That's actually something I didn't think about, hiring somebody else to sing it for me. That would have been a good idea and I probably should have done that. I just didn't think of that. The part where you said, I think it would have worked if it was sang by a different voice. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, maybe you're just specifically talking about the disguise. A large focus of the video was the disguise. A lot of people sort of came away from the video thinking that the reason that it failed is because my disguise didn't work. And I don't really think that that's true because the whole goal of the video was just to get to 50,000 videos. It wasn't to successfully disguise myself. In fact, I honestly think that people figuring out it was me helped in the long run. And I think it definitely helped in terms of making the video more entertaining. If the video had not blown up and also nobody recognized me, there would have been like pretty much no video video to make because nothing would have happened. My account would have just like stayed at 10 followers and none of my TikToks would have been seen and nobody would have made videos with it. There was definitely problems with the disguise, but I don't think that that's the reason that the song didn't blow up. In fact, I think that my disguise being bad actually helped the song blow up, just not for the reasons that I wanted. So I got some posters that I feel like Ned Flames would really dig. Hello. I got a Rick and Morty poster and then a Marvel Avengers poster. I guess I haven't really established too much about like who Ned Flames is as a person. So I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants. Just whatever feels right when it comes to him. Honestly, I feel like I'm taking the disguise thing a little bit too far. This video, I, I keep having to remind myself this is not what this video is about. This video is about trying to get this song popular and this whole disguise thing has kind of taken up all of the time that I have allotted to do that. So hopefully it works. In hindsight, what is something you feel you could have done to better the chances of getting your desired result with the song? Yeah, so this is sort of along the lines of the same question. Like if it wasn't the disguise that made it fail, why did it not blow up on TikTok? I actually just saw this video by Yo BGS. He uploaded it four days ago, right after I posted my video. And it's sort of like a reaction to my video video from this dude who is a radio DJ. Obviously he knows a lot about music and like why certain songs blow up and he gave his opinion on why the song didn't become as popular as it could have and I actually agree with a lot of it. So if you want to watch that I'd highly recommend it. But basically what I think is that there's a few reasons. One is the song didn't commit hard enough to any of the things in particular with the exception of maybe the I'm a fucking clown line. I think the beat was a great beat for just like a catchy pop song and at first that's what I thought that I needed for a TikTok song but looking back on it I feel like I picked the wrong beat. I should have probably looked more at the songs that were actually getting popular on TikTok because now I see there aren't really any songs on TikTok that sound like Circus. So I think I should have tried to replicate an actual TikTok song a lot more than trying to get it to just sound like a generic pop song. But even then, I think I would still be worried that would only work for like the dance portion, but then that wouldn't work for like the POV portion because that should maybe sound like a, a heavy metal rock song. Like that's what POVers kind of like to use, like people like Goverbo. So I don't know. It's hard to say if like one beat would work work for every portion. Maybe I should have just like released a bunch of different songs for each like line and just made like a bunch of 15 second songs and put them on TikTok. Maybe that would have worked better.
Who knows? Since posting your video revealing the whole thing, has the song blown up on TikTok closer to the way you originally wanted it to? Well, not to brag or anything, but now instead of the song having 2,000 videos, it has 4,000 videos. So 50,000, here we come, baby. Are you banned from Illinois public parks due to how many times you threw that baby in the tree? Uh, no. That isn't the reason I'm banned from Illinois public parks. It's a different reason. What was the most difficult part of the process? Writing the song, making the videos, creating the persona, etc. Making the TikToks themselves, like actually recording them wasn't that difficult, but it was a huge pain to every time I wanted to make a video to put back on the mustache and the goatee and then like get changed again, put on a Ned Flames outfit. That was kind of a hassle. Maybe I would have made more TikToks with the song if it weren't such a pain in the ass to get in that costume every time. Maybe I should have just like stayed in the costume all day and just should have just lived like Ned Flames for a few days. Definitely the actual hardest part of making the video was editing the entire thing. I had a pretty insane amount of footage that I had to edit. It was, I don't even know if I could guess, but it was probably like five hours at least of footage that I had to edit through. But I think really the difficult thing was like turning it into an actual story. Cause like once I was done editing, it was kind of just like a bunch of scenes of me talking to the camera, but you didn't really get a sense of like what was happening from scene to scene, like what the actual story of it was. It was kind of just a bunch of me like doing stuff and not explaining it. Once I thought I was done filming I actually had to go back and film all of that narration that was me in front of like the purple background actually like explaining what was happening at each step and I think that helped the video flow a lot better but it was a long process I think I edited for like six days uh, just did like nothing but editing so that was the hardest part Oh, this is something that I forgot to mention in the video, but I never talked about. I'm curious to how TikTok views translated to Spotify streams before everyone figured it out. If you noticed any correlation at all, especially since the song wasn't attached to you at all. I don't really remember. I think I remember at some point in the process going to Spotify and seeing that it had 13,000 streams, but I don't remember if that was like after the huge surge of people figured out it was me, if it was like some point before that. I don't remember when that was, but it's not like it had like hundreds of millions of streams on Spotify. It didn't translate that much, but it did translate some, but it's impossible to tell if that's because people recognize me. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it, learned a little something more about the process of making this video. Again, I will be disguising myself again. You will not know it's me this time. I guarantee it. Good luck trying to figure it out, bitches. Bye.